At least six people have been reported missing Sunday after heavy rain pounded Japan's north-central region of Noto, triggering landslides and floods and leaving one person dead in a region still recovering from a deadly January 1 earthquake. The Japan Meteorological Agency on Saturday issued the highest alert level for heavy rain across several cities in the Ishikawa prefecture, including hard-hit cities Suzu and Wajima on the northern coast of the Noto Peninsula. The agency has since downgraded the heavy rain alert, and kept landslide and flooding warnings in place. In Suzu, one person died and another was missing after being swept in floodwaters. Another went missing in the nearby town of Noto, according to the prefecture. In Wajima, rescue workers were searching for four people missing following a landslide at a construction site. They were among 60 construction workers repairing a tunnel damaged by January's quake. The FDMA said another person was missing due to floods at a different location in the city. At least 16 rivers in Ishikawa breached their banks as of Saturday afternoon, according to the Land and Infrastructure Ministry. Residents were urged to use maximum caution against possible mudslides and building damage. By late afternoon Saturday, about 1,350 residents were taking shelter at designated community centers, school gymnasiums and other town facilities, authorities said. About 50 centimeters of rain has fallen in the region over the last three days, due to the rain bands that cause torrential rain above the Hakuriku region, JMA said. A number of roads flooded by muddy water were also blocked. Hakuriku Electric Power Company said more than 5,000 homes were still without power Sunday. Traffic lights were out in the affected areas. Many homes were also without water supply. Heavy rain also fell in nearby northern prefectures of Niigata and Yamagata, threatening flooding and other damages and suspending train operations, including the Yamagata Shinkansen bullet trains, officials said. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake struck the region on January 1, killing more than 370 people and damaging roads and other key infrastructure. Its aftermath still affects the local industry, economy and daily lives. Residents of the Kursk region were shown fragments of broadcasts from federal Russian television channels which called for carpet bombing, raising their region to the ground. Ukrainian military decided to conduct an experiment and showed these shots to residents recording their reaction on video. The fragments shown are broadcasts from Channel 1 as well as a talk show where Russian deputies and experts propose to complete destruction of everything, including local residents that are located in the territories occupied by the Ukrainian armed forces. In order to drive out the enemy, we need to destroy everything that is there, said Russian Duma deputy Zatulin. At the same time, Russians were horrified looking at the plans for the liberation of the region that are being made in Moscow. This is absolutely horrific, said one of the Russian women commenting on what she saw. 
Moreover, the local Russian authorities of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region made a new statement. Local Deputy Alexander Kramarenko, in an appeal to the State Duma Deputy Kaplan Panesh, stated that Moscow did not evacuate residents during the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces due to the military's demand to avoid panic. The head of the district claims that the military command urged him not to allow panic among the population. In practice, this resulted in the people being simply abandoned to their fate. In this case, press secretary of the Russian dictator Putin, Dmitry Peskov, commented on the information of the Russian mass media that relatives of residents of Sudza in the Kursk region asked Putin and Zelensky for a corridor for the evacuation of civilians, Russian media reported earlier. According to Peskov, the Kremlin allegedly did not receive requests for evacuation from residents of the city of Sudza, which is currently controlled by Ukrainian armed forces. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard about this. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything and haven't received anything about it, he said. It is worth noting that on September the 13th, 2024, the Russian publication Kommersant published information that residents of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region appealed to the presidents of Russia and Ukraine with a request to open a humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of civilians as soon as possible. The appeal was accompanied by a list of names of relatives and friends, a total of 186 people, including seven children. Later, this message was published by other Russian media. By the way, a video message from residents of the village of Guevo in the Kursk region also appeared on the internet. People also appealed to the Russian authorities, but the Kremlin did not respond, and the local authorities, the protégés of dictator Putin, simply abandoned them and did not evacuate them. <coughs>